CMP Managing the Schedule. In this recorded class, we will look at rescheduling appointments, confirming appointments, and blocking time on the schedule. Rescheduling Appointments To reschedule an appointment on the same day, simply click and drag the appointment to the new time slot and let go of your click to drop it onto the schedule. If you need to reschedule an appointment to a different day, click and drag the appointment tile to the To Be Scheduled area. The original spot for the appointment is held until the appointment is rescheduled. Navigate to the new date, drag the appointment to the desired time slot, and drop it onto the schedule. Confirming Appointments A confirmed appointment is identified by a blue triangle in the corner of the appointment tile. To quickly view unconfirmed appointments, select Manage Schedule View and check Highlight Appointments. The unconfirmed appointments are now highlighted. Select Print Schedule if you would like to print the schedule or save it as a PDF. To confirm an appointment, select the appointment to view the phone number for the patient. After calling the patient, click Confirm. If you need to add a note, click the pencil to edit the appointment and select Add Note. After saving the note, a text bubble icon is added to the appointment tile letting you know that there is a note for the appointment. If you prefer to send a text message to remind patients of their appointment, you can use the SMS Reminder feature. To text a confirmation reminder to a patient, select the appointment and click Send SMS Reminder. The patient receives a text message with their appointment information and the option to reply to confirm it. Click the pencil. Under Reminders, you can view any sent text messages. Click the reminder to view additional information. If the patient replies to confirm, a text bubble appears on the appointment tile indicating a confirm note for the patient. To do a full day of text confirmations, click Send SMS Reminders under the Actions menu. More than one appointment has to be on the schedule and the patients must have a cell phone number saved to their record. If you would like text message confirmations to be sent automatically, go to Administration, eServices, Appointment Reminders. Click Edit Settings. Under Send Automatically, check if you would like a text sent when the appointment is initially scheduled. Set the number of days before an appointment that the confirmation text should be sent, and set the delivery window time frame to the time of day text messages should be sent. Under Exclusions, you can select to not send a text message if an appointment is already confirmed and set the number of hours to wait to resend a text. Blocking Time If you need to block time on the schedule, select the time slot, left-click, and drag down the amount of time to block. Click the lock icon, enter a name for the block time, and select any additional chairs to block. After the block is made, you cannot make edits and you are not able to drop an appointment over a blocked area. Click the X to cancel the block and repeat the steps for a new block. This concludes managing the schedule.